Hello everyone, this is Mega Hamster, and uh, this is another unboxing video for you all. This is unboxing number 22. Last time in unboxing number 21, we unboxed the Charizard Amiibo, the Smash Brothers edition, because that's the only one that exists. Um, and yeah, this uh, I just received a package today. I ordered this uh, a few days ago, and uh, I'm really looking forward to this. I've been meaning to get this product for a while. Uh, it is from GameStop, but it is not from Pro Rewards like the Streets of Rage hat was. I actually ordered this with real money online. Um, and I taped off the other side so you couldn't see the address, because if you did, that would just be, I don't want you coming to my house! Yeah. So, I'm gonna open this. I got a pair of scissors here. I'm gonna open this guy up. And, yeah. I don't know how long this will be, but... Try not to get my arm too much in the camera, because that would just be really dumb. Uh, oh, there we go. Not yet somewhere. Come on. Ah, there we go. The heck is that red thing? I don't even know what that is to tell you the truth. Oh, it comes in plastic. Ooh. And here we go. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a white one. Wow, no, this is actually like a legitimate surprise for me. Wow. Nah, I like this. This is... Let's get a... You can stand up! This is a GameCube controller, specifically... Jesus, tripod. Specifically a Nintendo brand. Now, I have two GameStop Chameleon GameCube controllers that suck. I am not joking. They are terrible. I mean, they've lasted me for the past two years, but... They're getting so old and they break really easily. And I've heard things from friends like the wires have broken on theirs really easily and stuff like that. And I have a few problems of my own that I will show after we unbox this. I'll do a comparison. Now, I, that doesn't mean I haven't used a, a, an official Nintendo brand GameCube controller before because I've been to my friend's house, you know, and played games there. And they're so much better. Like, unbelievably so much better. Like, I've been missing out for the past two years. Ever since I've had my Wii. Actually, no, have I? No, three years, three years, sorry. Three years. Jeez, it's been that long. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. I'm really excited about this. I've been meaning to get this for a while, like I said. Let's, uh... Let's open this up. I'm assuming we just... Yeah. I guess we just... Oh, it's a pre-owned. I mean, I think they're all pre-owned, actually. I think we just gotta cut this... Right here. And... Ooh, it's hot. Probably because it's a pretty hot day out today. Hot summer day, you know. Wow. This is all... Um, oh, that feels so good. <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. Oh, this is so... This is awesome. Oh! I don't care. Yeah, and the stupid uh, thing just came off. Yeah, I was just uh, currently recording a project of mine that you guys might see in a week or so if you stay. I hope a week. But yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> there we go. This is the official Nintendo GameCube controller. It already feels so much better. Like, the design is just so much better. Like the thumbsticks, oh my god, these, this is heaven. I'm literally in heaven right now. Like, these thumbsticks are rubber. The GameStop Chameleon ones, the C-Stick, is just a piece of plastic that just feels terrible. And although it does have the analog stick on the chameleon ones have like an outer um, like an outer rubber like coating, I guess you could say to them, it's it's plastic, you can tell. And these oh, it's just so much it's so much better. The D-pad, everything. Um, so yeah, we got the analog stick, C stick, directional pad, A B, Y X, start and pause button. We got our triggers, which also and they feel about the same. I think these are a little smaller. And the Z button, which feels different with this. Yeah, this one doesn't click as much as the other one does, but I got the back, anything good on the back? Just some stickers. And the cord, of course, which I can use on my Nintendo Wii for good games. Oh, I'm testing this guy out later. This is, I'm so hyped. I'm so happy right now. This is awesome. I was not expecting it to be black, though. I was expecting a white one, but, oh, sorry, not white. What am I saying? Chameleon ones are the white ones. Purple. I was expecting a purple one. But this is fine with me. This looks sick. It matches my Wii. I have a black Wii, so... Hold on. What I'm gonna do... You wanna stay up? 
Like that, there you go. I'm gonna grab one of my chameleon controllers. I'm gonna purposely get the one that's in worse condition. Where is it? Sorry for the ruckus. Okay, so I said I have two of them. I'll show you one. The one that's in worse condition. Okay. Here is the one that's in worse condition. Okay. Right off the bat, you can notice one problem, the C-stick. See how it's like plastic? This is terrible. I hate this. It's... And it just feels gross. There's something about the outside of the game controller that's just so much better. <laughs> uh, the D-pad also is a little bigger, and it feels more stiff. It doesn't feel as natural as the uh, official Nintendo brand one. Um, of course, it's white versus the black or the purple. Um, GameStop, right there. This one also has Turbo. I guess um, the official Nintendo brand doesn't, but Turbo really doesn't do much for me in terms of the games that I've played. Like I said, the triggers are about the same, maybe a little bigger. Uh, the button layout's pretty much the same. Not completely, though. Um, looks like these ones stick out a bit more. So you have to put more force into the buttons. Now this. See how it's plastic? This thing always comes off for me. Like, every 10 minutes I play a game. And then you get this. And this is so uncomfortable. And then you have the problem where you have to try to put it back on. And it just doesn't want to go. And it's just... It's ridiculous. Uh, whatever. The cords are pretty much the same. Um, the cords, I think, are as long, but I've heard, uh, I've heard things from friends about, like, these wires pulling out of the controllers and, of course, busts it, but, yeah, was this the one? I don't remember. One of them actually, yeah, yeah, it was this one. This actually started coming apart right here, too, so I had to get a screwdriver and tighten that up. And unfortunately, when I did that, it messed up the C-stick. Sometimes it works, like it's working now, except the C's upside down. And now it's, see, I don't know, it's, it's not that good. I mean, it's lasting, that uh, Chameleon brand, it's not, it's not garbage. It's usable, but it doesn't last too long, and just this is just, look at it. It's so much more inviting to have an actual official Nintendo brand one, so I'm really happy. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this unboxing, guys. So thank you all so much for watching. Like this video if you liked what you saw. If you want to keep up to date with any videos I do. Um, also, if you're looking forward to the project, this quote-unquote project that I mentioned that I should have up, or I hope to have up by next week, then you can subscribe and you'll know when I upload it. And uh, comment down below. Tell me what you liked about this video, what you didn't like, what you think I could improve on overall with my unboxing videos, because these videos are my most popular ones, and I want to make sure you guys get pretty good content for these um, however, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be stopping these, or stopping, I'm not gonna be doing these videos as frequently soon because I'm going to college in about a month. The next unboxing I have planned is the last unboxing for a little while. Now, originally, uh, if you've been following my unboxing videos, I've said numerous times that I've been meeting to get into the Ace, uh, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, uh, series, and I've been mentioning Apollo Justice and doing that as another unboxing, but I'm not doing that anymore. Uh, my plan is to buy Pokemon Y and an Amiibo sometime in August. So this is the last, this should be the last unboxing for this month. And then I'll probably have one for August and that's probably going to be it for a while. But you can look forward to that and I, ha I still have videos planned, don't worry. It's just unboxings, I'm not sure right now. But that's it guys, thank you again. And it's edgy, this, this, oh, this control is edgy, just like edgy the hedgy. He's like, <laughs> perfect!